tape for this, our main event of the evening. Rousey is 28, Nunez is 32. The rest of the numbers are close. Now for the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California, presenting the challenger, Rowdy Ronda Rowdy! And now introducing the champion, Fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 21 wins, four losses. She stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Miami, Florida, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, Amanda. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instruction in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up and we are underway. Ready. Well, this fight sold out in a blink, and it is now underway. The rematch between Ronda Rousey and Amanda Nunes. The odds were long that Ronda would come back, and even longer that when she did come back, she would face the Lioness Amanda Nunes. And the odds favor Amanda Nunes in a way that we never thought Ronda Rousey would be viewed. So she's got some work to do, because not only is Amanda a dominant fighter, but the profile of Amanda Nunes has been raised much more than it was the first time they fought. It's such a fast leg kick. So the fighters clinch here early, and she has really historically done some of her best work in these type of fighting situations. Yes, she does a great job of overwhelming you with this clinch position. With all the homework, with all the detail, it's hard to keep up. She gets, oh, that's a nice scramble by her there. Nice punch lands over the top. Just missed with the left there. And they separate. All right, so Amanda Nunes getting off here again as usual. Really as well-rounded a fighter as we have in the men's or the women's game here in 2020. Yeah, regardless of gender, right? Regardless of gender, Amanda Nunes stands among the best in pound for pound in the entire UFC. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for the Lioness Amanda Nunes. Nice punch by Nunes. Rousey gets hit by that. Oh, huge elbow! Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Beats a big knee! Big liver kick lands under the elbow. They continue to exchange. All right, so once again, the fighters engage in the clinch. We'll see who will have the upper hand here, champ. There are so many options to dictate and control this exact position. Who is going to take advantage of it? 90 seconds to go. Oh, she misses with an uppercut. Rousey gets in the clinch yet again. Is such a diverse striker that that big. Oh! oh, how good is that? The diving punch lands plus to the head. Half guard position.
position for her here. And if you're the bottom fighter, this is truly a case of, of pick your poison. Yeah, you gotta pick your poison. And if you're on the bottom, you gotta be trying to find a way to escape that bottom leg. You cannot allow your opponent, you cannot allow her to sit on your leg and just throw big damage and strikes. You got to make sure you're on an elbow control, an underhook, and getting back to your feet. Rousey's pass is denied. Right, so a lot of strike absorption by her in that previous round. She got stunned on the feet, but survives to see another round. Talk us through the replay, man. You look at the action here. They're going back and forth, and boom! There goes that big strike that lands that really does hurt her opponent. She could not find the follow-up shot, but eventually she will find that moment. Two underway. And she connects with a punch there. We'll see if she can follow it up now. She's been landing at a super high rate. She's in a great flow right now. Just misses there with the left. So again, they will clinch here. There's the leg kick. That one checked by Rousey. Big kick. Nice counter jab up top by Rousey. She missed with that jab. Big punch from the clinch. Liver kick. Oh, the master of the transition. Nice scramble. Big punch land. Ooh. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, she works the body as well as anybody in this division. Another strike there, and these shots are really going to take their toll. Oh, as this, this fight moves higher there to avoid the takedown and get this fight back to the floor. Oh, nice jab to the head there by Nunes. Just a slip there. was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. Absolutely flush on the land, and I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming, so sometimes it's the strike you don't see coming that spells your fate, and ultimately it goes in the books as a big knockout win for her here tonight. So there she is, folks, a woman who now needs no introduction, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, getting it done by knockout and with major style points here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is called to stop this contest at two minutes, 18 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout and Unlike the great Israel Adesanya, she doesn't hope and pray. She aims and fires, <laughs> and she is still the UFC Women's Bantamweight champ. What a great champion that rules atop this division. She's the queen, the queen of the world in one of the UFC's best women's divisions.